Hi everyone, my name is Phil and welcome to Phil Does 3D. I'm a multimedia and 3D artist and I stream live on Twitch on Mondays and Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific time in the United States, which is now midday in Australia or 1 a.m. if you're in the UK. Remember, for the next two catch-up streams, you can watch the premiere streams on Friday and Saturday at uh, 9 a.m. Australian time, 2 p.m. US time or 10 p.m. UK time. But that's only for the next two streams. So this coming Friday and Saturday US time will be the last two premiere streams because Twitch are doing away with premieres. So uh, they're also doing away with the events. So <laughs> um, the events tab is going away and premieres are going away. So just the, the last two will be this Friday and Saturday, the premiere events, but then I stream live as usual every Monday and Tuesday. And uh, if you do miss the streams, you can watch them under the videos tab of my Twitch page uh, at any time. So if you can't, if you can't watch me when I'm live, uh, you can always watch the playback stream under the video section on Twitch. I hope all you guys and girls are well, that you had a good weekend and all that sort of stuff. I'm recovering from the Melbourne Cup yesterday. It, it, it was fun, but um, yeah, and I drank a lot of water before I went to bed, so I don't feel too bad today. Not too bad. A little bit seedy, but not too bad. We are going to continue working on the House in the Hollow, uh, the game that I'm working on with the game studio. Uh, we're working on the bathroom for that level, for the, for the house, for the manor house. Um, we're going to continue doing that today, so we will be jumping into Max and then jumping into Substance Painter. Smokeberry Barbecue, it's good to see you, buddy. Says, oh, hey, it's hangover time. It is hangover time. <laughs> so, shh, no yelling. Um, I was saying, I don't feel too bad. I mean, I did drink a lot of water before I went to bed, but I did drink a lot of uh, alcohol yesterday so and you guys know I'm not used to drinking so yep. not too bad don't feel too bad I feel a bit seedy I want something greasy you know <laughs> typical hangover food I always used to really like dim sims I don't know if you guys in the US are familiar with a dim sim I really like those steamed dim sims for, ha um, for the day after a big night of drinking <laughs> and so I haven't actually eaten anything this morning so that was probably a mistake I should have eaten something before I started streaming but the, see, the problem now is I stream at midday in Australia, so that's like lunchtime. So I wait till after the stream at two when I finish to have lunch. So I'm just going to have to sit through and suffer, suffer for my art. I hope you're well, this Murphy. And I hope Sniper Girl is well as well. Um, I think she had her big interview at the end of last week. I think she said it went well on the Discord server. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed for her. Okay, what are we doing? That's right, that's what we're doing. If I'm a bit slow today, you've got to forgive me because of, you know, the big day out yesterday. Uh, I think what we'll do now is we're going to start working on the walls for the bathroom. Uh, I have done the floor already, and that is actually in the uh, UE4 level. Big pentagram. We're going to sit the bathtub on top of the pentagram, because, you know, why not? That's creepy. Um, Smurfberry says, yeah, dot, dot, dot. Uh, somebody is conspicuously absent. Yes, she is, isn't she? Let's hope that's good news. Yeah, well, I, 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 it sounded really positive from um, what she was saying, is them wanting to put her up in a hotel and to come the day before and all that sort of stuff. The fact that they singled out her model during the first interview as being good is a good sign. Legmog, it's good to see you, Legmog, says, Okay, I'm here. As per your instructions, I brought the painkillers, the water, and a sick bucket. <laughs> I've already taken some Panadol this morning on Europe, and I think it is, to, to help with the headache. And I'm a bit dehydrated, so if I have to hit the water bottle occasionally, that's why. Um, and I was saying I haven't actually eaten anything yet, so I'm waiting till after the stream to have my lunch. Speaking of which, I'm just going to have a drink. <laughs> my mouth is really dry. I hope you're well there, Legmog. It's good to see you. Oh, it's better. Why do I drink? Why, why, why? <laughs> I was forced to drink. They held me down and they poured it down my throat. That's my excuse. Anyway. Um, 
Yes, so I've already done the floor, we go, and, and the floor actually has it. No, <laughs> it's hard to see in Max because Max I did not set up the physically based material, but it's a, a PBR material, and it's all nice. It's actually wet, so I'm making the bathroom floor in the game wet, which you don't see here. So it does look better in the game level. You will see it when I bring uh, all of the. I've actually brought most of the assets we've already been working on into the UE4 engine. Uh, we'll be setting up the bathroom probably next week. I don't think there's too much else after we do the walls that I need to do for the bathroom. I think all the assets are ready to start being uh, set up and designed and placed and all that sort of stuff. No <laughs> likely story, Smurfer accepts. Uh, Legmog says, yes, pilot project is on hold for a few days while I sort out a year's worth of piled up admin stuff, tax returns, subscriptions, and many, many things in Excel. God save me, I'm so sick of Excel already. <laughs> I actually use um, an online accounting software tool. I mean, I have Excel because I have Microsoft Office. But I actually use uh, an online, a free online accounting suite of tools to do all my tax stuff before I send it off to the accountant. Just it's easier for me as a business to do it that way. Um, what's it actually called? Just, just for any of you guys that might be interested, I'm going to give you the link. Because it is good, it is free. It's called Wave. So if I open up my browser and go here, this is the the software I used to do on my online accounting. It's free. Gives you all these nice graphs and stuff. You don't have to mess with Excel coding. It's all really cool. So yeah, I use that. You can upload your invoices, all that sort of stuff. It calculates all the stuff for you. It's really, really cool. But there's a lot of different online um, accounting things you can do. And doing it in Excel is a perfectly good way to do it as well. Just a bit more work in Excel. Oh, I cheat. I use them. Then I just print it all out and send it to the accountant to, to do it for me. But make sure you do your taxes correctly. Particularly a lot of um, people that do contract work get into trouble because... <laughs> You get paid in a lump sum once you've finished a project, if you're doing contract stuff. Uh, and the, the, the tendency then is to spend your money, and you can't do that because you have to take tax out of that. I don't know how it works in your country, in the UK or in the US, but in Australia, you can either lodge a return with the government every three months, six months, or 12 months, as a business, that is. Uh, and if you do it like every six or 12 months, you can forget to take that tax portion out of your income and then you're in big trouble because the tax department come chasing you. So, Smurfery says, but Excel is fun. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it fun, Smurfery. Wow. I, I've, I've never felt fun while working with Excel. No, 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 no. So yes, those taxes. Make sure you put that money aside from your bank account to cover your taxes. Important. You don't want to be chased down by the IRS if you're in the US or by the taxation department here in Australia if that's where you live. Not fun. Not that I speak from personal experience. I've always been very good, but I know a few designer friends of mine that have got into trouble. <laughs> Lake Mog says graphs. I definitely need to come up with a pep talk chant. Lake Mog sort of Leg Mog, sort out your bank statements every month. I repeat over and over again. <laughs> Nothing worse than the stuff building up to a mano. That, that's right. Nothing worse than spending the money and then not having the tax bill. Not having the money to pay your tax bill. I mean, <laughs> they won't put up with any excuses. I'll, I'll send you to jail. Morak, it's good to see you, Morak, says, well, I guess I'm three years in trouble by outside standards. <laughs> oh, Morak, what have you been up to? I would admit that on a public chat. Yeah, and it's easy to do. Like I said, you do contract work, you get paid in a lump sum, it goes into your bank account. The, the temptation is there to spend it all, maybe, um, but you can't. You've got to make sure you take your tax portion out. And that's your responsibility as a business person, as you know, as a, a, um, a contractor. You have to make sure you take your tax money, put your tax money aside. Really important. Just working. <laughs> Just working. Well, just working, you don't have to worry about it if you're working for a studio because they do all that for you. That's one of the advantages of having a full-time job or even a part-time job or even a casual job. 
Uh, generally, the, the company takes care of all your tax and they pay, the, they pay the government on your behalf before you get your money in your pay packet. But it doesn't work that way if you do contract work. In contract, it's all up to you, all on your shoulders. You've got to make sure you don't spend the tax money. The tax man won't be happy. He'll come for you. Uh, yeah, and I know because, like I said, friends of mine who designers, animators, particularly the animators for some reason, I don't know why, maybe it's just my animator friends, they always get into trouble. Always. Uh, Morek says, in my country, nobody cares and will dare, uh, and will dare chase me. <laughs> they will will not dare but bother. Oh, that's unusual, Morek. What country are you living in? I want to live where you live. If you don't have to pay your tax. Man, that sounds like a dream. <laughs> But taxes are important, guys. It's what pays for all the public services that we use. You know, in this country, it pays for Medicare, which is our public health system. It pays for the roads. It pays for the bridges. It pays, you know, for all the important things that we all rely on. So it's important to pay your tax. <laughs> That's how uh, Greece got in trouble. Oh, but Bulgaria. Oh, okay. Well, it'd be nice not to pay tax. But look, I don't mind because... Provided the tax rate isn't outrageous, like it is sometimes, but um, it sort of stagger, <coughs> staggers depending on how much money you you earn as to how much tax you pay, at least in this country. Um, so the more you make, the more you pay. <laughs> Legmog says the animated friends are probably always in trouble because they saw your bird and have gone insane with envy. They probably were envious. Yes, they were. That, that's got to be it, Legmog. They were envious of my amazingly outstanding eagle that I animated envy insane with envy you are right leg mug says tell that to rupert murdoch <laughs> oh. yeah well rupert murdoch you guys know how i feel about that man uh again rupert murdoch is an australian who now lives in the united states he's the founder of uh newspapers i can't remember the names of them because they're all trash rags um he's also the he was the owner of uh 20th century fox studios but now they're owned by disney thank god um and he also owns the foxtel network which is a cable TV network. Um, but, yeah. Sorry, I don't like Mr. Murdoch. <laughs> don't like him at all. So don't talk to me about Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> um, so, yes, what are we doing? That's right, we're doing the walls. So, yes, uh, so I do have uh, the floor in the level. We will see it next week, mo most likely. We'll jump into UE4 and start setting the bathroom up. We've just got a few uh, more assets to do, like the walls. So. Morex says only reason for somebody to bother will be if someone up high in the corrupt government gets angry that he isn't stealing as much public money as he used to due to guys like me that's terrible that's really terrible Morek. I'm that the Bulgaria is so corrupt I mean I, I, I think that's awful terrible you got to change your government guys if you have governments wherever you live that aren't doing what you think is, is right or good, then get out and vote and change your government. You know, in a lot of countries, voting is not compulsory. It's compulsory in Australia where I live. Uh, you get fined if you don't vote. But I know in a lot of countries it's not. It's, you know, if you want to vote, you go and vote. If you don't, you don't. I think it's like that in the UK and in the US. Um, this is why it's really important for you to go out and vote. If you don't like what your government are doing, you go out and you vote. Do it. It's only it only takes half an hour. I mean, you know, most of that's waiting in line to get to the to the voting booth to put your vote down. We can all s sacrifice half an hour of our day once every what is it four years in the U.S. and four years here in Australia. That's about how long government's term lasts. So half an hour. If you don't like them, change your government. Um. Legmog says, yes, I think at this point we can safely say Mr. Murdoch has been knocked off his perch for Dis by Disney for the title of owning basically everything. <laughs> yeah, Murdoch doesn't own as much as he used to anymore. He's really old, though. I mean, you know, I think he's in his 90s, Rupert Murdoch. He's probably going to drop dead any day. <laughs> oh, I'm never going to get a job with Murdoch. Um, so, yeah, his, his time has passed. He's an old dinosaur. Just... Leave Mr. Murdoch. Leave the media to to younger people. Um, sniper girl, it's good to see you, sniper girl. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. I hope you're well. Yes, look who it is. We were just talking about you, saying uh, we keep we're all keeping our fingers crossed for you. And I'm glad to hear your interview went well. I saw you posted in Discord. 
Uh, I hope you're well, Sniper Girl. Morag says, uh, we are the most corrupt in the European Union. Oh, that's really sad. It's terrible. Terrible to hear that, Morag. Really terrible. And like I said, though, get out and vote, guys. Go out and vote. If, they, if your government are not working for you, do something about it. Uh, Sniper Girl says, problem is in the US, the politicians are all bought, paid for by the same corrupt company. It's like that here too. Listen, it's not unique to your country. The politicians in this country are the same, unfortunately, and you've got to just pick the best of a bad bunch, I'm afraid, sometimes. So I feel ya. I do feel ya. Uh, Legmog says, uh, I like to think Sniper Girl's family members are all called, like, Bazooka Woman, Blunderbuss Chick, <laughs> Grenade Girl, Laser Lass. <laughs> uh, Sniper Girl says, uh, doing okay. I'm in limbo currently waiting to hear back from Volition, which is the game studio that uh, Sniper Girl had an interview with last week. It might take them a little while, Sniper Girl, so don't, um, don't read anything into not hearing yet because it, it does take a while to narrow it down and choose someone. Sniper Girl says to Legmog of Only, and Legmog says I'm especially fond of Laserlass. I'm pretty sure you'll probably find that's taken on Twitch already, that, that, that name. Morak says, uh, I agree, but sadly the ex-commie 50 plus year holds are all way too much compared to the young population. There's a reason why we have the highest population decline north of the equator, I think. Uh, who chose to stay true to vote? Uh, who chose to stay, try to vote and help that we are outnumbered and so many people give up and end up leaving and forgetting about this place because it's massively effed up. Having an older population is a problem. They tend to vote with people that I don't agree with, at least in this country, but uh, thankfully the older they are, the quicker they're going to die. So just think of it that way. More, eventually those people will die. Then you can have your way. It might take a while, but they will. They're going to die. <laughs> Sniper Girl says, uh, I'm not ish. They have to do the background show. Yeah, that's right. They do. There's all sorts of stuff going on behind the scenes when you're employing someone. Uh, Snappy Girl says, older they are, the quicker they're going to die. Nice. That's exactly right. The older they are, the quicker they'll die. And let's face it, some of them need to be dead. No, I'm not saying that. Some, some of them are horrible. I'm sorry, but some, some people are just horrible. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Okay, let me just isolate this wall so I can, I can explain what is going on now with uh, how I'm going to take you this up. If I turn on edged faces, you can see what's going on here. So I have, I have a section at the top which is going to be the border that runs along the ceiling. I have a border that runs about halfway, what we call this, maybe a third of the way up the wall. Uh, that's going to be the border that separates the tiles down here. From, I think I'm going to put wood up here uh, and I've also got I've also cut the mesh up here and here and I did that because I want to place a different um, PBR material for the tiles here and here so we'll probably have a border running around halfway up the wall or a third of the way up the wall and a border running around the base we'll have tiles in here and we'll have probably wood in here and that'll be wood and that'll be wood I've already UV mapped it so you don't have to watch me do that. Um, Legmog says, if I worked at Marvel Comics in the 1990s, I'd totally make a laser lass comic in the post-apocalyptic desolate wasteland future. Mad brute gangs torment one, torment the weak and the powerless, but from the ashes forged in the flames of war comes laser lass. There was a girl, what was a tank girl? Tank, that reminds me of Tank Girl. Do you remember that film that was released about 10 years ago, I think now? It wasn't a bad movie, it was pretty cool. It reminds me of Tank Girl. I don't know why, just the way you described it. Sniper Girl says, I regret to say that this, but I agree. I mean, the majority of the idiots that don't believe in climate change are ancient. They are. They're either ancient fossils or they know it's happening, but like you said, vested interests. They don't want to admit it because they get kickbacks from mining companies, oil companies, you name it. Everyone that doesn't want that, you know, doesn't want to change, basically. Uh, Sniper Girl says to Legmog, that does sound like a cool comic character. You remember Tank Girl? Oh, good, I'm glad I'm not the only one. 
Morag says, yes, I'm thinking that way. Sadly, the Mafia managed to elect their own general persecutor two weeks ago, prosecutor, uh, that will lead to seven more years of smuggling highway for the public money. I can go on and on and on and cry a lot, but it's not why I'm here, so I can stop talking about this. It's sad, but it's unfixable. Well, eventually, like I said, they will die, and then you can hopefully fix your country. Morag? Nothing lasts forever. Nothing. Nothing and no one. Legmog says, maybe because they're a so old sniper girl, their ears don't work well. So when people say we need to get rid of fossil fuel, they just say we need to get rid of fossils. <laughs> and they be all, get rid of fossils? My God, the young whippersnappers want to get rid of us. <laughs> all right, so yes, I have by UV mapped this up. I'm going to go through now and assign vertex colors so we can bring it into Substance Painter. So, first things first. The top uh, beam here, we're going to make that a wood. And I'll probably make it a chocolate wood, so I'm going to make the color a dark blue. Because I like dark blue. Uh, this one as well is going to be a wood. And I probably will make that a chocolate, chocolate colored wood as well. So we'll make both of these are dark blue. I should have done them both together. Would have been easier. Uh, this wall, oh, okay, so now we're going to go this way. This wall we're going to make a, probably a wood. So I'm going to make this, um, a, what sort of wood I don't know yet. We'll work that out when I get into Substance Painter. But for now we're just going to make it this tealy blue colour. Uh, this section here and this section here, I'm going to make tiles. I can either make them separate, different tiles or the same tile. How do I want to go? <laughs> I'll probably make them the same tile. We don't want to go mixing and matching too much. It's just going to make things look a bit too busy otherwise. So same tile. We'll make it a yellow. Uh, no, we'll make it a red. No, we'll make it a green. There we go. Uh, and this section here is going to be tiles, but they're going to be plain tiles, no pattern. So we'll make that a mid grain. Let me just double check that I have assigned all of my colors correctly. And that looks good, everything's colored. We're good to go. Uh, we're gonna call this, okay, I've already named it Bath Left Wall. So I've named it based on obviously where it's gonna go in the bathroom when we bring it into the UE4 level. And I've done it that way because I can't reuse these sections multiple times because we're going to be using pattern tiles. If I scale the uh, asset too much, it's going to be noticeable that there's something weird going on. So I, I have to create unique assets for each of the four walls. So that's the reason that, um, and the reason I'm doing that is because I can't scale one asset multiple times for different size walls because it's using a pattern tile. If it wasn't using a pattern, then we probably could get away with it. <laughs> Legmark says, congratulations, Tech. We just sold Global Warming. Sniper Girl says, uh, don't think they did something like this for Tank Girl. I didn't think they did something like this for Tank Girl. Let me have a look. What's this link you posted? Uh, anyone new to my channel doesn't know who I am, go to phildoes3d.com. You can read up about me, look at my previous work, find my social media, all that sort of jazz. Uh, remember too to join the Discord server if you haven't already, because I didn't give that spiel when I first logged in this morning. Ah, Tank Girl. Cool. Yes, there she is. And the movie. The movie was really cool as well. I really enjoyed the movie that they made. So, there is the Tank Girl movie. Uh, Legmark says, well, the artwork, that's so 90s. Why were you timed out? Why did Light, Light, why did Nightbot time you out, Legmog? Stop spamming symbols automated by Nightbot. <laughs> Sorry, Legmog. Nightbot's a naughty bot. Naughty, naughty bot. My apologies, Legmog, for night, that Nightbot being so anal. Um, Sniper Girl says, bad bot. It is a bad bot. 
Morag says, well, I got some good news today. I received a work that I so long waited for. I will stop being poor. Oh, cool, Morag. That's great news. That is great news. You can afford to eat. That, that's, that, that, that'll help. That's important. But that's good to hear, Morag. Congratulations on getting that contract. Legmog says, what? I don't think I even put any symbols in it. I didn't notice any symbols either, more uh, leg mugs. So I don't know what Nightbox is going on about. Must be the dot dot dot, I think. I think that's what it's picked up on. Yeah, I bet you that's what it is. I think it's more than five symbols that Nightbox rules kick in. Snappy Girl says, I read what you put and was nothing. No, there was nothing wrong. It, it's, it was a dot 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 thing. Um, Snappy Girl says, what? Leg mog put wow the artwork that that's so nineties. <laughs> Snappy girl stop spamming symbols. Leg mog says. Uh, Snappy girl says thought that leg mog was spamming. Morag says. Uh, Snappy girl says to Morag, nice, great to hear. Morag says pay my rent that I owe as well. <laughs> but that's good too. Cause you don't want to be kicked out. Don't want to be living on the streets. That's not nice. Smurf or oh, Smurfberry, I think I've made an exception for you. You're special and you're a, a, a mod, so. You're not bound by the uh, the rules of Nightbot anyway. <laughs> so Smurf Smurfberry just posts all these dots to rub it in. Um, I'm pretty sure though that I did make an exception for Legmog for links. Because I, I generally only subs can post links in my Twitch chat. Obviously moderators can post links. But there were a, a group of um, people that watched me when I first started streaming that I gave special permissions to. They're, they're special viewers because they were my first viewers uh, and I've allowed them to post links and I don't think a lot of the rules apply to them either. Certainly links, they can post links. Snappy Girl says, makes exceptions for mods. Apparently it does. You're special. That's right, Snowberry. You're special. Snappy Girl says, yeah, getting thrown out into cold would be a bad thing. It would. Because it snows in Europe too, doesn't it? So living on the streets in the snow would not be nice. Morag says, no, nah, i got friends somewhere that will help, I guess. Well, couch surfing is always a, always a thing. Legmog says, okay, here's a test. And see, you didn't get timed out, Legmog. You made three dots and not more than five, so you were safe. Is this going to be a pain in the ass, Morag says. Legmog says, nope, that's fine. Yeah, that's right. No more than, don't, don't do more than five. I think after five symbols, Nightbot kicks in and, and times you out. And remember, if you do it enough, uh, he will he will time you out every every time he times you out he times you out for a longer period of time. <laughs> um, Legmog says pot kettle black sniper girl and hello snow. <laughs> All right, so let's export this asset so that I can bring it into Substance Painter. Export selected. Uh, um, bathroom. Chosen. Walls and floors. And that's the floor I brought into um, into the Unreal Engine. I've already done that, so I'm going to do the walls here. And because I copied the link, I have to redo this. So we're calling this bar left wall. Okay, let's jump into Substance Painter and let's see what we can do. Let's create a new project. I see that um, Adobe have just released version one of Substance Alchemist. It's no longer in beta. It is now officially at version one. Or well, they're calling it 2019, I think. So that's cool. Because I do like um, wrong one. I do like to program it, it's very useful. I can't, I can't talk and work at the same time. My brain just can only concentrate on one thing at a time. Walls floor, bath left wall. Okay. And let's bake out our maps. Legmog says, okay, whoops, now I know. Sniper Girl says, I had to test it. Legmog says, I'm being absolutely ravaged in chat tonight. Uh, Sniper Girl says, for shits and giggles, what's after 600 seconds? I'm not sure. I'd have to check. 
I don't know what it's uh, set, set to. If you do it often enough, it, it will ban you. I know that. I'm pretty sure if, if, you're, if you ignore the rules often enough, uh, it will ban you. So <laughs> bear that in mind, guys and girls, <laughs> while you're testing out Nightbot's limits. If you, if, you, if you go too far, it'll ban you. Uh, we're going to call this, this is left wall. Legmark says, so I saw the Adobe CS6 Master Collection on eBay for 500 British pounds. I'm very tempted to ditch CC and just buy that. 50 pounds a month just seems too expensive to me. I thought you got it on a, on a special Legmark. Didn't you get some some discount? Or is that over now? Was that only for like 12 months or something? Because 50 pounds a month is a lot of money for a subscription. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that gives you access to all the Adobe software, but you guys know how I feel about subscription software. I think it's a rot. Don't like it at all. And I, I, I've used C, I've used Adobe since version like CS2, uh, and I remember CS6. CS6 was a good version. I'm just trying to think of what they've added since then that might be that I'd miss if I went back to CS6. There's not a lot. They don't tend to, these, now that everything is subscription, these software companies, they don't tend to to give, to, to add really big new features. They, they just give you this incremental small stuff every new, every year when they bring out a new version. So going back to CS6, I don't think, I, I don't think personally there'd be anything that I'd miss from 2019, CC 2019. Actually, I think uh, Adobe have just released CC 2020. I think they did that in the, in the last day or two. But there's nothing in 2020, according to the release notes that I've seen, <laughs> that interests me, really. Nothing I can't live without. But of course, if you're renting it, it costs you nothing to update it. So. Sniper Girl says, uh, have the power to unban. Yes, you do. You're a moderator. You can unban people. That's right. You can grant people permission to link and all that sort of stuff. You have the power, Sniper Girl. You and Smurfberry have that power. Use it wisely. Uh, Morag says to Legmog, what are you, uh, what are you using Adobe for? Sniper Echo, it's good to see you, Sniper Echo. Hope you're well, buddy. Hope you're doing well. I'm hungover, so, you know, if I'm a little bit more subdued today than normal, that's the reason. And if I hit the drink bottle a bit more, that's the reason as well. Uh, Legmark says, yes, for the first year I exploited a glitch in the system that got it for £30 for the first year. I may try making a new account and see if an exploit still works. Why not? Hey, if they let you do it, then do it. Um, remember too, guys, I, I, I haven't mentioned it in a while, but if you want to use Max or Maya or a whole range of um, Autodesk software and you're a student and have a student email address, you get a free three-year license. The fully functional software, they give you a three-year license for free. All you need is a student email address and you can register on Autodesk's website and download either Max or Maya or a whole lot of different software that you can use for free for three years. You can't create anything commercially with it, but if you're a student, you shouldn't need to anyway. You should, you should be using it to learn, but I'm just mentioning that. There's also Blender, which is free 3D software. Um, Morag says only subscription I like Spotify and Substance package yeah, Substance uh, now that Adobe own it though who knows what's going to happen with Substance now that Algorithmic no longer own them uh, Sniper Echo says to Sniper Girl I'm good thank you how are you doing Sniper Girl says doing well still in limbo about volition Legmog says I'm a 3D artist so Adobe is just kind of supplementary stuff which I use every once in a while After Effects Photoshop Premiere probably like 20% of my workflow yeah, I couldn't live without the Adobe software, unfortunately. I use, um... Thank you, Spog, for the follow. My apologies for not getting into doing a bit more work and chatting too much. The guys will tell you I'm a motor mouth. I can't shut up. But thank you, Spog. I do appreciate the follow. Uh, remember, too, to join the Discord server. Spog, if you haven't already, there's a link I've just popped into chat. You don't have to, but uh, if you want to show off your work, there's a gallery section where you can do that. If you've got any social uh, like if you have an art station or a portfolio that you want to show off there's a section for that as well 
there's a tutorials and tips section. Everyone's very helpful, very friendly. Everyone should join the Discord. Um, but yeah, I use uh, Photoshop, I use Premiere Pro, I've been using After Effects quite a bit lately. Uh, and I, so I couldn't really do without those Adobe, without those programs. I, I use them all the time. Uh, and, and 3D stuff, of course, as well. But um, because I because I work for two different studios now, the, the uh, Archbiz Studio and the Game Studio, there's different sorts of work I need to do for each. So the Archbiz Studio, my work is mainly 3D stuff. The Game Studio, my work is mainly 3D stuff, but I also do... Uh, video stuff and After Effects stuff and I, I wear a few hats in the game studio so so I need them all I need them all all the software <laughs> but if you just do 3D generally you don't need uh, you probably wouldn't need the Adobe stuff um more uh, snipers banned who sniper echo says <laughs> no leg mug was nearly banned because he, he was putting too many characters in his message. Nightbot almost banned him. Morek says, I'm a 3D artist as well and I barely touch Photoshop. So if you use Substance Painter, you probably don't need to. Um, you, you don't need to use anything really, generally, to do your texturing work in any 3D program. These other programs just help you do it more quickly in a better way. Sniper Echo was asking me how the head is. It's a bit sore, Sniper Echo. I took to Panadol or Nurofen, as we call them here, uh, before I started the stream. So the headache's not too bad. <laughs> it's the dehydration. You know how you've, if, if you've been drinking a lot of alcohol, the next day you feel really dehydrated? That's sort of how I'm feeling today. And I haven't eaten anything yet. I'll have lunch after I finish the stream. So that probably hasn't helped. I'm still probably half drunk from yesterday. Because they poured the, the alcohol down my throat, I told you. I didn't want to drink. They held me down and they poured it down my throat. Right. Sniper Girl says they don't check to see if you're still a student so you can continually download it for life cop. I'm not, I do not advocate anything like that. You guys do what you think is right. I'm not, not, not touching that with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> But it is very good of uh, Autodesk to give you a free three-year license if you are a student. I think that's decent of them because there are not many software companies that will do that. Even Adobe, they have discounts for students, but you still pay. Whereas Autodesk don't charge you anything if you're a student. So they get the thumbs up Autodesk from me for that because I think that's a decent thing to do. Um... Legmog says, I wonder if we can get some sort of racket going on. I'll set up a university and enroll you all into a lifetime course. Then you all qualify for student versions. <laughs> Getting that .edu address might be difficult, though. I think you've got to prove that you're a bona fide uh, educational institution to register a .edu. I could be wrong. I've never registered .edu. And thank you, Spock. I see you've just jumped into the Discord server as well. So, yes, um... I see Discord as well as Twitch chat, so don't think if you post something in Discord I won't see it. I have them both open while I stream. Um, Sniper says, sounds like a plan. Sniper girl says, I use Photoshop for decals and that's it. I actually want to start experimenting with decals in the UE4 game we're, we're doing. I haven't actually used decals in the, in the game level yet, but I do want to look at using some decals. Uh, decals were really popular years and years and years ago and I thought they'd sort of gone out of fashion but obviously not if it's still in the UE4 engine and they must still be useful so I'm going to check those out. I've used them before, I know how they work. Uh, I'll probably use them for blood and stuff. Decals for life. Morag says, yes Sniper, that's pretty much it. Everything else I do in designer and painter, I prefer creative for most things Photoshop can do. I'm not sure, I'm not familiar with that program, Morik. Sniper Girl says they do everything else in Painter or Quixel Mixer. Morik says it's free and it's great. Check it out then. There you go. Um, I don't pay for my software though. The studio buys the licenses and they allow me to use the software at home. So if I had to pay for half the stuff I used, I, I wouldn't use as much software as I do. It's only because the studio pays for it. They buy the license and allow me to use it, that I can use the amount of stuff that I do. Otherwise, it would just be outrageously expensive. 
even on a subscription, it would be outrageously expensive. So, but like there's all these free alternatives, Blender for 3D, if you don't want to pay for your 3D software. Um, I can't remember the, the name of the photogrammetry software that Smurfer is using, but that's completely free as well and very good. Blender's very good. There's that program that uh, Morag just suggests that's like Photoshop and it's free. There's a lot of free alternatives. Even when it comes to Office, Microsoft Office, there's a whole range of free um, word processors and stuff like Excel and PowerPoint, all these alternatives, you don't have to spend money. Uh, if you're a business though, it, it works out better because then you can claim it on your tax and it reduces your tax bill. So, you know, it, it all evens itself out if you're running a business. More so than if you're just a person, a, you know, you're just doing your artwork and you're on your own. It can get really expensive really quickly. Sniper Echo says, hold the phone, there's a game studio. Yes, there is. There is a game studio, Sniper Echo, yes. I am working for a Archbiz studio and the game studio now. The game studio is the one that we're, that, uh, we're making the game, the House and the Hollow game, it's part of the game studio. Uh, Morag says, I never tried Quixel, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, uh, Sniper Girl loves it. Sniper Echo says, when did this happen? Do you need a sniper? <laughs> sniper Girl wants me to hire her. She asked first. Sniper Echo says, uh, I mean, Sniper Girl obviously asked. You mean Sniper Girl. Sniper Girl says to Sniper Echo, yes, did initial interview with Volition, uh, art test, which they loved, and final interviews with the head of the studio. Cool. Were they nice people, Sniper Girl? I didn't ever ask, and I should. What were, they, what were they like to talk to? Were they nice? Any assholes? I mean, generally, I found <laughs> I found when you go for an interview with a game studio, particularly, you're generally interviewed by more than one person. There's maybe there can be up three three people will interview, maybe more, depending. And there's always one on the panel that's a real asshole. <laughs> I don't know if that's on purpose, but generally you'll find, at least I've found, one of them out of the three is always a bit bit of an asshole. Um, Legmog says, my god, I possibly have found another exploit. Give me a few minutes and I'll see if I can stick it to the Adobe Man once again. Another girl says, had four different interviews on Friday, two people each with the head of departments. Okay. Sniper Girl says to Sniper Echo, also got the to see the Saints Row 5 as well, which they're working on. Oh, that'd be cool. I'm so jelly now. I love it when you see stuff that's um hasn't been released yet. I mean, I should do some work here. I'll, I'll, I'll catch up with the chat in two secs, but if I, if I don't start doing some work, I'll get nothing done. And I'm amazed you people want to watch me when I sit here and do nothing but talk. Um, so, yes, I want the chocolate wood for the brown... <laughs> the brown the borders for the wooden border for the ceiling and for the around the wall i'm just waiting for my uh for the program to catch up here i'm too fast for it come on there we go uh let's look at the beech wood we're going to color by color selection we want the blue and i'm just going to move in here so i can get a better closer look at the uh the actual wood itself Sniper Girl says, then they announced that they're working on an SRR 5, so not breaking a DA by saying that. Cool, Saints Row 5. I know Saints Row games have been really popular. Sniper Echo says, wow, that's awesome. Smurfberry says, decals are a core technique. Yeah, I knew that they were years ago when I was working uh, in AAA games for the game studio eight years ago. They were very big then too, but I thought with the newer engines that they weren't as big anymore, but obviously I was wrong. Bill was wrong as usual. I'm just going to pull back on the height range here. For some reason it defaults to really weird, to an extreme height value, I don't know why. Uh, we're going to change the scaling a little bit. unlock it so we can change the scaling independently of each other. I hate these sliders in this program. They're so sensitive. They really are overly sensitive. Uh, 
Um, I hope Adobe sort of maybe makes some changes to these sliders because yeah, they're, re they're really too sensitive. I mean, I like having a slider, don't get me wrong. And you can type the number in. Um, but yeah, they're just they're too, too, too sensitive. Now, I don't know if it's maybe my mouse because I'm using a gaming mouse. It like polls at a thousand milliseconds or something like that. Actually, I think it's more than that. I think it's 12,000. Uh, so I don't know if that's got something to do with it or what. But yeah, I just find, find it really way too sensitive. Just going to play with the offset here a bit as well. Okay, so let me delete this layer at the bottom because it's just a blank layer that's created when you create a new project. Um, it's catching up with the chat. Snappy Girl says, uh, no decals are more popular now. A lot of studios like uh, Vicarious Vision use mostly seamless textures and decals. Again, seamless textures. I mean, I. I, I know that I, I understand the reason seamless textures are really important for gaming because it reduces your texture footprint quite substantially if you can just tile a texture. But again, that was so big years ago. I, I thought, particularly with programs here like Substance Painter, we'd started moving away from that sort of thing. I mean, I, I, I've used seamless tileable textures in the game in the House in the Hollow. Don't get me wrong, I'm using them as well. Yeah, but, and they were very big years ago. I just thought. It was something that wasn't as big as it used to be, but obviously I was wrong. I've been I've been schooled. Uh, Smurfberry says Meshroom. Meshroom, thank you. That's the free through it photogrammetry software that um, that you can download and use. Morex says honestly, what you can do with Blender and Unreal and all the other free software is just like twenty to fifty, or like just twenty to fifty dollars a month to keep it relatively cheap. You can do some. You can do some absolutely amazing stuff. As Morak has just said, um, you've got Meshroom, which is photogrammetry software, which is free. You've got Blender, which is 3D software, which is free. You can download and use the UE4 engine, which is free. Uh, if you do make something with UE4, Epic Games are very generous. They, you have to pay a 5% royalty over $3,000 in sales every month. So the first $3,000 of sales, you pay nothing to Epic Games after $3,000. Uh, anything above that, then it's 5% of however much you are making every month, which is very decent because uh, I sell my 3D models on the creative market and they take 30% of my sales. So 5% is really, really good of Epic Games. And the software is free to download and use. If you don't sell anything, you don't pay Epic anything ever. If you don't make at least $3,000, you don't pay Epic anything ever. So. so there is a lot of free stuff and like Morag says, or just if you you only have to spend twenty to fifty dollars a month, most at most, to do your work. Whether you want to do three D work, whether you want to do animation, whether you want to do make a game, whatever. You don't have to spend a fortune, which is why I'm on Twitch and I want all you guys to do three D because it's a fun thing. Even if you don't plan on making money from it, doing three D is fun. Whether it's animating or, or or making a game level or world or just making something in 3D and rendering it out or whatever. It's a fun thing to do. Use it for artwork. Uh, Morag says, honestly, no, I've read that. <laughs> Sniper says, Sniper Girl says, yes, we're amazing to be honest. Legmog says, I have to wait until my annual plan runs out before testing this exploit. Keep it to yourself then. You don't know who's listening. And I close it before you get a chance to use it, Legmog. Sniper Girl says, uh, one of the guys was concerned that I wouldn't be able to follow instructions. Mentioned I was Pry Navy and yeah. 
to say after that his concerns were no longer there. <laughs> Why would he think he would not be able to follow instructions? What that? What? 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 Anyway, you had a good you had a good comeback for him, Sniper Girl. So you put him in his place, not being able to follow instructions. Legmog says, uh, but is there anyone here who does have CC who wants it? Today might be your lucky day. I'm super curious if my exploit still works. Sniper Girl says, uh, okay, dude, there's something that was mentioned. You don't know, dude, it was something that was not okay. Legmog says, uh, anyone who wants to know about this PM me, I can verify it does not involve piracy. Good, we do not. I do not advocate piracy on my channel. We do not use pirated software. There's free alternatives, you don't have to. You never know what you're getting with pirated software as well. You know, viruses, all that sort of jazz. Uh, and there's no need when you can download software for free that's just as good. Much safer way to go. Uh, but do, there you go. PM Legmog if you want uh, a way to subscribe to Adobe's Creative Cloud. I don't know what, what he's come across, but uh, there you go. It's just the most juiciest loophole ever. Alrighty, so let's continue texturing this wall up. Um, let me look at the tiles that I want for around the, the bottom and the... Actually, no, before we do that, I need to add some color, some variation to this wood. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer. And I'm going to change the color on the duplicate to make it darker. And we're going to throw a smart mask down. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that darker color off. We're going to jump down one layer. I'm going to throw another material underneath of this one. Uh, again, I'm just going to wait for uh, the program to catch up to me here. I don't know why it does this, because it's caching all of these already. I don't know why it doesn't keep it in memory. It's very annoying. Uh, and the more the more substance materials you have, the worse it gets. So don't uh, try not to fill up your library with too many, because then it just takes longer and longer to repopulate. I'm going to throw this honeycomb down as an underlying layer. It's going to put it on top. We're going to move it down the bottom and again I need to uh, mask with color selection so we have this honeycomb underneath of the dark chocolate again I'm going to pull back on the height because it's too high now these underlying layers I sometimes turn the height information completely off here as well uh, now we're going to put the chocolate wood on top and I'm going to use a smart mask and I want let's go with these edges strong scratch and I'm going to turn invert on just going to pull back on that a little bit Play with the balance a little bit. I'm not quite sure that this smart mask is working for me. I'll see if I can do something with it. Now that normally would be a bit strong, but we're going to turn on the darker layer on top here now. Throw another smart mask down and for this one we'll use the dust soft. Oh, and again we have to make sure, well, because we're using multiple layers now, we're going to have to put these into their own group. Wrong one. 
we're going to call this, um, what am I going to call it? Wood border. And we have to add another color mask with color selection. There we go. Now we can make some adjustments to our mask. I'm going to start to pull out some of that underlying honeycomb colour. Just to soften it up a bit, give us a bit of a two-tone going on in the wood to make it look like the wood is old. So basically what this is doing is it's giving me three colours, the original chocolate wood, a darker chocolate wood and the underlying honeycomb here and there. Let's add another mask, another smart mask. Um, leg mark says, hang on. Happy Girl says, uh, no, like Mark said, no, they go. I've read all the chat, okay. Uh, let's look at, um, let's look at the surface worn one. Just trying to work out why it's doing that. It's, a, it's applying it to the. Um, oh, I think because I applied the, uh, the mask, the smart mask, to the wrong layer, so I'm just going to remove that. And we need to apply it to this one, not to that one. I did it on the wrong one. Uh, Sniper Girl says, I don't know dude, or something that was mentioned. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Langlog says, I have to let you get on with your work at some point, Bill. <laughs> Morak says, well, I've got to go sleep. Thanks for popping in, Morak. It was good to see you. I'll be back on again on Monday next week. You have a good sleep, dude. Good night to you as well. Have a great sleep. Thanks for being here, Morak. I'm going to turn, uh, no, I'm going to turn the invert off. I'm going to pull up a little bit here because I want just a little bit of color variation going on. Maybe pull up a bit on the contrast. No problem, Snappy Girl. Pull back up on the ambient occlusion a little bit. Pull back a little bit on the curvature. And that should be good. Just giving us a little bit more variation on the wall. Okay, let's now move on to the tiles, the, the pattern tile that runs along the bottom and around uh, just below the uh, wooden ledge. So I'm just going to close that group and let's find a material, a pattern we like. Let's try this one, we can always swap it out. Again, we want to mask with color selection. Let's change the scaling. I 
quite like that this this smart material this material shader uh, has these chips in it I think that's really cool that, that's why, why I like this uh, this substance particularly but let's line it up a little bit better Let's just change the scaling a little bit. I'm just making them a little bit more square. And let's see what we can do. Broken tile. So we have this option here as to how much of the broken tile we want to use. Uh, so I, I actually, I'm going to bring this up a bit. I mean, I'm not going to bring it up like that, but I do want some broken tile in there because I think that'll look cool. Time aberration. Oh, I see. That's just making some changes to the grouting, make, dirtying up the grouting a little bit. Dirt intensity. Oh, we won't make them too filthy. We'll bring a little bit of dirt, because why not? Uh, roughness paint. I don't see that doing a whole lot. And roughness ceramic. Yeah, again, it's not doing a lot for us either. Um, we can change the color of the tile. We won't just yet. I'm going to wait until we get the rest of the uh, wall textured up and then we'll see if we want to change the color at all. Okay, let's move on to this part of the wall. And I just want that to be a plain tile. No, no um, pattern at all. Because otherwise it'll get too busy. So let me find a tile, ceramic enamel tiles, let's try that one. Uh, again, mask by color selection. Let's change the scaling. I don't know that I really like this tile to be honest with you. Maybe if we pull back on the height a bit, it's again a bit too high. The scale is a bit off, so let's change the scaling. Before I mess about with it too much, I've got to decide if I like that tile or not. I'm just going to see if there's anything else here that might be uh, interesting. See, we do have a tile like this. I'll, I'll put it down, but I'll tell you why this is not good for the wall. Um, so if I pull this on, let's mask it so we can get a better look at it and scale it so it's probably normal. A bit better. You see that now while that's an interesting tile, it's too busy for the borders. Because the borders are so busy, we can't go with anything that's too too busy, basically. A lot of use of the word busy busy, but um, yeah, if we're gonna have a tile here and here like this, we have to keep the middle of the wall relatively simple, plain. Uh, otherwise it just starts to get way too busy. So I just thought I'd mention that, point that out as to why I'm using a plain tile. I mean, don't, don't, we can still do some variation here, don't worry, but um, like in colour, but we can't go for anything patterned. 
And there are quite a few tiles here that are nice, but they're patterned, and so we can't use them. So I'm just going to quickly see if there's any other tile here that might grab my attention and be a bit better. You know, it's like when you've been drinking and my eyes are sore. I don't know, this is sore. My eyes are like, so you know how when your eyes get, when you've been rubbing your eyes, they feel sore. That's what my eyes are feeling like. That'll teach me. That'll teach me. Um, of course, you don't have to go. We, we don't have to put a tile there. We could put any other sort of substance there as well. That's plain. Uh, but I want a tile. It's a bathroom. Generally, the walls are tiled. To stop water, so and I see that Red Dead Redemption Two has been released, and it's running like a dog apparently. Uh, even if you've got a GTX 2080 Ti and you're running it at um, 4K, you're not getting 60 frames a second. If you're running it at 2560 by 1440, you're getting, I think, about 53 frames a second with the top of the range video card. Oh, Rockstar, way to optimize your titles. I mean, it does look great. It looks very beautiful. But um, yeah, performance apparently is really bad. Uh, and apparently it's been crashing as well. People have been trying to boot up the game and it's been crashing. So just another example of why you'd, you never jump on a game straight away, a big title like that. You wait for them to patch it so it's working correctly before you buy it. All right. I don't know that I can really see another tile here that uh, that I like, which surprises me because I thought I did have a few tile tiles here that were suitable. Maybe I'm just half blind. It's the hangover. That's my excuse. It's the hangover. Oh, come on, stop doing that. I keep moving the mouse and it keeps jumping to the wrong spot in my materials. I, I, as I'm moving it up, I'm gradually moving my mouse over and yeah. And I don't mean to be. Now I can't actually really see anything else that will be suitable. Not really. Let's have a look at this. Again, mm, yeah, it's going to be too busy. Even with that pattern, it's still going to, it's going to end up being too busy. Yeah, it will be. We don't want rock. We don't want marble. We could make, you could put marble there. Um, in fact, let's just have a look again. I'm not probably going to make it marble, but marble would actually wouldn't look too bad because uh, you do have marbled bathroom walls. You can have marbled bathroom walls. It's half the fun of using substance painter. It's just. Uh, putting a texture on there and seeing what it looks like. Let me just turn the underlying texture off so we can get a better look. So we could put a marble texture there. A 
we could go with the traditional tiles. Before I start making some variations, guys, which ones do you like? Do you like a marble? Or do you like the traditional tiles? Let me know what you think. Um, I'm just going to make some adjustments to the tile here. We're changing the offset a little bit. This is a wall. Yes, Android Lust, this is one of the bathroom walls we're going to be bringing in for the bathroom. So I'm just creating the uh, materials for it now. We'll turn them into smart materials so when we texture up the other uh, bathroom walls it'll happen pretty quickly once we get the initial one done. So yes, it's a bathroom wall. And I want to know from you guys whether you like the tiles here, the white tiles or the creamy coloured tiles, or if you like marble. You guys let me know which one you, you think looks better. So marble, or tiles. We're going to do some color variation, but I just want to know which one of the two is better for you guys. Marble, you like the marble Android Lust? So Android Lust votes marble. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, if we're going to use the marble, then I won't do the uh, changes to the offset for the tiles. <laughs> um, I might as well do this while I'm waiting for you guys to tell me which one you prefer. Three, it's 2.29, 2.30. 2.28. Let's go 2.25. Let's change the offset a little bit. I just want to make sure our tiles are uh, tiled correctly in between the top tile and the bottom tile. So yeah, we have the tile or we have the marble. Android Lust likes the marble. And that's the tile. You guys tell me which ones. I'm actually going to work on the tile and we can come up to the marble in a minute. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Duplicate the layer. We're going to change the color. I'm going to make it a bit more white. So we have the creamy colored tile and then a whiter tile. I'm going to turn the height information off for the second layer. The sports game, Andrew Lust, it was good. Yeah, I went to the Melbourne Cup, for anyone that doesn't know, which is the race that stops the our nation here in this country. Uh, it's a horse race. But yeah, it was good. It was fun. <laughs> Too much drinking. I was telling the guys they poured alcohol down my throat, so I'm feeling a bit seedy today, a little bit hungover. Uh, but no, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Huge crowd of people. Lots of food. Lots of alcohol. Um... Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So yes, no, I did enjoy it. Um, I'm going to throw a smart mask down here. So let's go with... Um, let's try this... Yeah, actually, before I do that, I want to... Uh, I want to create another grouping. Now we're going to call this one wall tiled. Uh, so we've got wall borders. These two are the ceramic tiles, so I need to. Take them out of the group and group them. Um, we're going to call this border tiles. 
if I can spell correctly. The leatherboard of tiles. And we need to mask by color selection. Mask by color selection. Stir a smart mask down. Oh, okay. I've got one. I think I made an error here. I've got to move one out of that. This one has to be moved down here. I had it in the wrong way. That's better. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's play with our mask a little bit here. Uh, and I threw that on the wrong layer, so just let me get rid of that. And we need to put it down on this one. I'm just turning off the height information. I don't want height. I'm only using this to to add a bit of color variation in the tile. Uh, and we, I, I haven't got rid of the um, marble. We may go back to the marble. I just want to do this first, and then we can make a decision. So mask balance. Again, I'm, I'm pulling up so we get more color variation. Two tone color variation here. It's subtle, but it's there. And hopefully you can see it on stream. Just a bit of a color variation going on. And that's not too bad, but we can go better. Let's um, go back to our materials. Let us find... Uh, another material Let me get a copy um, we don't want metal we don't want rust Because it's tiles. Tiles don't rust. Um, Smokeberry says tile rusts when you make it out of rust. <laughs> it does. If it's metal tiles, then yes, that will rust. But ceramic tiles will not rust. That would be impossible to have a ceramic tile rust. Now that's not saying you can't have metal above it with rust running down it from the metal above it, but there is no metal here, so there'll be no rust. So I'm just looking for something else, not rusty. Um... I must be hung over. I'm finding it really hard to find <laughs> to find anything that I want here. Um, I 
Um, 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 um. Marble tiles. Actually, we didn't even look at that. I'm just going to pull that in really quickly because I want to see what that looks like. I'm going to go up to the top of the stack. Um, just change the scaling. See, I don't mind that either, that color. Let's just see what... Okay. It actually has a water level, which we can't bring in because, you know, water won't sit on a tile that's, uh, that's sitting vertically like that. It'll run down, but I was just curious. I actually prefer this one, I think. Oh, uh, that wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for something else. I just got, I got distracted. And we know it's not hard to distract Bill. Um, let's throw this mud one down. Uh, we don't want footprints. We don't want leaves. We don't want twigs. Just waiting for substance to catch up. Here we go. We don't want pebbles. We just want dirt. Uh, Android Lust says skin material on tiles would be creepy. It would be creepy. <laughs> it would be creepy, actually. The walls are made of skin. Ooh, that would be creepy. It's not a bad idea, actually, but for a um, maybe for a, you could have it t as a timed event in a game. So once, once an action happens and the walls could start to turn to, to skin, that would be mega creepy. I have to uh, keep that in mind, actually, Andrew Dust. It's not a bad idea. Not as a permanent design feature, but as like a, an, a, an event that happens in the game. Smurfberry says there's a trope for that. It's called meat moss. Ooh. Sniper Echo says, uh, is it just me or can you not buy Substance Designer or Painter now? Only on subscription. Yes, no, you can't. You can only subscribe to them now. Thank you, Adobe. Now that Adobe owns Substance, you can no longer uh, you can no longer buy them. You can only rent them. Um, I'm going to pull out the water as well. Because again, it's on a wall. We don't really want water. Oh, I might, might leave it in just a little bit. We'll see how we can go. How we go. Uh, but I am going to darken it up. And we're going to throw a smart mask down. So yeah, it's only subscription now, Sniper Echo. It sucks. Thank you, Adobe. Mercury says you should be able to buy it. Actually, yeah, I think you can still buy it on Steam. That's a good point. Although, who knows how much longer that, that they'll offer that. Yeah, they're saying that uh, if you buy it on Steam, you're probably only going to get another 12 months out of it. And then you're going to have to go on subscription anyway. And I think they're only doing that to stop people from absolutely going going off their brain because they're making you subscribe for it now. That's why they say only about 12 months on Steam. If you buy it on Steam, it'll only be good for about 12 months. Sniper Echo says only on Steam then. That's rough. I'm glad I moved away from it to Blender for my texturing last year. Okay, let me find a smart mask here. No, 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 no. Let's have a look at dirt spots.
you know, I don't mind a little bit of of um, distressing, like the tiles have been damaged because the the building is like from the 1900s, so it's been around a long time. Snoper is asking Sniper, I'm assuming, have you been using that procedural texturing stuff they've been experimenting with in Blender? Sniper says, I've been experimenting with it for a while now. It's getting very strong compared to Blender 279. And I don't know what they're talking about because I don't use Blender. <laughs> but it sounds very cool. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this layer again. Uh, duplicate layer. I'm going to turn off the height information here for the duplicate layer. Uh, I'm going to <coughs> remove that clouds layer. Actually, I'm going to remove this mask completely from the duplicate and we're going to use another mask. Uh, Sniper says it's like sort of like Substance Designer in Blender. Oh, that sounds really cool. I should check Blender out more. I keep meaning to. I really, 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 really have to, really should. Let's look at this dust dirty one. I'm just going to... Didn't mean to do that. Sniper Echo says, I feel as soon as they build a solid asset management system and user interface, we'll see a lot more people using it. Uh, look, I, a lot of people are using it already. I'm just really slack. Uh, well, no, I'm not. We use Max at work, so I use Max. But... Um, Blender, I've heard such good things about Blender and I know a lot of people have been switching from Maya and Max and Cinema 4D to use Blender because they like it and it's free, which is fair enough. So I, I, want to, I do want to start using it, at least playing with Blender to see what it's like and just to get familiar with it because it never hurts to know more than one 3D program, that's for sure. We're not going to make the walls quite that dirty. I think that's a bit, bit much. The next project, Phil. Oh, yeah, the, this, this game is going to take us a while. I'll, I'll be doing this game until release, so until October 2020. <laughs> For the next, next 12 months, it's going to be the game, most probably, until it's actually released. Uh, the Steam store page is going to go live soon, but you won't be able to buy the game, but you'll be able to wishlist it on Steam. That will be happening in the next few weeks. I will let you guys know when it actually does happen. But it's penciled in to, to, go, to go live in the next few weeks anyway. I'm just going to pull back a little bit here on this um, this dirt layer I want a little bit of dirt but not too much just just a hint of dirt here and there so it's not quite so pristine and new looking it's 
Sniper says, I like the node systems, but sometimes I feel like a layer-based system could be really uh, nice in Blender. Nodes are really useful and helpful. I do like the layer system that you get here in Substance Painter. It's the same thing you get in Photoshop. Uh, layering is really, you can do some really cool stuff with layering. Uh, Murphbury says, new system, each layer in its own node system. Yeah, that's the way to do it. You should go and work for them, Smurfbury. You're back, Sniper Girl. Good to see you. Good, you're back. Uh, I'm just going to make a, just a small adjustment to the tiling here so we get our tiling happening correctly. And it's in the uh, Y direction. I need to make a bit of a change to... Actually, it might be... Um, might be... Two dot two five on that one. No, no two dot two five on that one. Good. Um, what if we try two dot two four? And change the offset a little bit more. I'm just going to turn that off so I can work with one layer at a time. These sliders, they're going to be the end of me, I tell you. Every other program, it keeps the selection when you press enter, but not with Substance Paint. See, I press enter and it deselects my selection. Every other program generally keeps it selected like that to make it easier to work with. That's better. 0.122 Then we have everything tiling within our borders, which is good. Wrong button. Smokeberry says, Painter is just enough of those small idiosyncrasies to make it annoying. <laughs> it certainly does. Sniper Echo says, uh, the reality is you can do a lot of procedural material work in Max also. It's just not focused on or developed. That's true. And there is that new, what do they call it? In Max, there is that, that new shader system where it's open source. So you can download a lot of free shaders online. And a lot of them are procedurally based. I can't remember what it's called now. I don't actually use it in Max, but it's cool. There's a lot of free shaders you can download. They're procedural shaders, so it's like substance shaders, but it's not called substance, it's called something else. In fact, let me just, you know, I was going to say, let me just jump into Max, but I want to get this wall done. Uh, let's just make a quick save here, though, because, you know, you never know. Models, bathroom, chosen, walls, floor. And this is the left wall. We haven't finished yet, but I'm just saving to be on the safe side. Uh, now we need to do the top part of the wall here. So we have the tile around the, the floor, the tile around the middle of the floor, and then we, uh, the middle of the hall. And then we have this top section here, which I'm thinking to make a wood, just to be a bit different. Now I did actually create a substance myself using Alchemist. I just need to find it. I'm not sure how whether it's going to work or not because I haven't looked at it since I created it, but we will throw it on there and we'll have a look. I'm just going to close that grouping so everything is nice and neat and we don't get confused. Now where is it? Okay, it's this one here, my wall wood deco. I'm going to throw that one down. We're going to 
mask with selection. Uh, let's change the scaling. Trying to decide on the scale I want for this. Four two three five oh. Let's change the offset a little bit as well. Just unlock that and change the scaling individually a little bit more. Change the offset. Moving away from the from the um, wall, so I can again just make sure my scaling is correct. I might actually make it a bit smaller. Now we have to change our offset again. All right, let's duplicate this layer. Change the, I'm gonna turn off the height information on the normal on the duplicate. Actually, I might, I might turn off the height information completely, I think. 
I don't actually think it needs it. I think the height just makes it a bit too busy. No, I'm not saying it looks bad. It'll look okay once it's in the level as well. Um, but the, see, the problem here is <clears throat> because I created this substance, I didn't uh, I didn't expose any of the parameters, so I can't change the height information on the fly like you normally can with a with a substance. I really should have done that. Uh, so it's either off or it's on. Yeah, I would do that smurfery, give it like 28% or 18%, but I, I don't have access to it because I made it in, in Alchemist uh, and I didn't expose the height value. So there is no parameter for me to change. It, it, it's not one of the ones you downloaded from Substance, it's one I made in Alchemist. So, so we don't have that option. But I, maybe just with the normal map it might be okay, I think. The normal map is giving it a little bit of height information. Uh, the height itself, I just think it's a bit too, bit too much. Snappy Girl says, um, yes you do. You can reduce the height on any material in Painter. No, you, normally you can, Sniper Girl, you're right, but not on something that I've created myself. Not <laughs> You show me where it is. Normally it's here. But because it's a, a substance I made, there is no option for me to change it. Mercury says you have the height channel. Does Phil not know about height channel? Where height channel? You're talking about this one. Is that what you mean? That height channel? Sniper Girl says, yes you can. Drop down menu that says base material above. The materials can go to high. You know, I know all about this. Let me just turn the underlying let me just turn the above one off so we're working with the one channel now what are you saying to change now you can change the value of the layer you're talking about here that's what you mean guys isn't it all right i'm so i'm used to having the height value exposed as a parameter down here but you are right again bill has been school hey come on i'm hung over leave me alone leave me alone that's my excuse i'm hung over uh let's take it to about about 49 percent let's turn the above layer on I'm gonna set that back to base color Android lusts me. <laughs> You're all laughing at me. You're all so mean to me. And I'm not well. A sniper girl says, yep, you can do that independently for anything for height for normal. Yeah, I, I actually do remember these channels, but I forgot. Come on. Like I said, I'm hungover. Leave me alone. You're all so mean to me. All right, so we've knocked our height back a little bit. No, no, by all means, it's a good excuse. <laughs> all right, so we've knocked our height back a little bit, but I want to make some color changes now. So, um, forty-nine on that one. Forty-nine on that one. I've actually turned the height value off completely for the second layer because we don't need it on the second layer. I'm just using it as a, um, a color layer.
So we'll change it to a multiply. I'm just going to pull back here so it's not quite so dark. Just a slightly darker version of the other one. And let's throw a smart here, smart mask down. Um, what mask do I want? Let's try this dirt soft edges one. Uh, just before I throw that down, again I'm going to make a uh, group these. We're going to call it upper wall. Now we can throw a smart mask down. Open your eyes. Step by step you walk in uh, this. Turn on the light. Again, uh, we need to mask it by color selection. Don't know that this smart mask here is going to work for us because it's a there is no curvature, it's a flat wall. So we might need to go with a different smart mask, I think. Let's get rid of that one. And let's look at uh, Let's try this one. up a little bit on the world space norm. Sorry I'm just checking OBS here to make sure everything is right. Throwing the two tone color in to give it a bit of color variation. Uh, let's throw another smart material down. And let's go with. Let's try the clay rough one. Change the color. Make it darker. Take out a little bit of the colour here, make it a bit more grey. Back to our smart masks. Let's try this rust ground one. I don't think we want it to be rotting that much, but just a little bit here and there is not bad. Position gradient. Pull it back just a little bit. And I'm just going to pull back a little bit on the mix. Let's do a quick save here. So let me go through here. I'm going, to, I'm going to rename these so that when we use create smart materials, we know what they are. So bath walls, upper wall. And 
bath walls, border tiles. I don't need to have an upper, uppercase A there, just a normal A. There we go. And bath walls, wall tiles. Bath walls, wood borders, and I forgot to do the underscore here, so let me put that in. And why is that all in uppercase? Okay, so I don't know that we really need to do much of anything else, so we can create some smart materials now. And we can start applying these smart materials to the other three walls for the bathroom. Just trying to decide if I want to make any changes. Sniper Girl says tomorrow will be three days after the interview. Do you think it would be do you think it would or should I should wait to see how things are going? Do you think it would what? Do we think we do I think you should wait to see how things are going? Yeah, days or business days of smoker hours. Business days. Well, it can't hurt to shoot an email or just just yeah. If you if you if you want to send them a respectful email, keep it short and sweet. Just asking them if they've made a decision or. I don't think that's unreasonable, or you could wait another couple of days. Oh uh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. Did you send them a, a thank you email, a smurfery asking? Because that's always a good thing to do. You thank them the day you got back. I'd send them a thank you email as well. Oh, I'm assuming you sent them one the day you got back, okay. <laughs> Okay, so you sent the thank you email. It's been three business days since the interview. I'd wait another day or so and then you can send them an email. Yeah, the day I got back home, I thanked them. You can wait another day or so and then send them an email, just like I said, keeping it short and sweet. I'm not exactly sure what you would say, but you could just, yeah, if you just send them an email, you could say, I'm just was wondering if uh, you were any closer to making a decision or something like that. I, I would generally wait a week, personally. If I hadn't heard back in a week, then I'd send them an email. There's nothing saying you, you, you wait another day or so and then send them an email. That wouldn't be unreasonable. I, I generally wait a week, though. If I hadn't heard back after five business days, then I'd send an email. Just asking if they were any closer to coming to a decision or something. Yeah, just a general email, seeing how things were going. Email as, as you say, sniper girl. But I generally wait a week. But you don't have to. I think any time after three days, you're within your right. You know, it's not unreasonable to send an email to ask. Like I said, don't write an opus. Just keep it short, sweet, to the point. Certainly couldn't hurt, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably wait five business days before I send an email personally, but that's just me. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we need to do for this. Let's do a save. Uh, Sniper Girl says, but I was going to do a six page range. <laughs> well, no, I don't, don't recommend you do a six page range. That's not good. Uh, let's export our textures here. And I know you're kidding. I know you're kidding. Uh, new for projects, models, bathroom, chosen, walls, floors. And it's called left wall, so that should be fine. Let's export our textures. Uh, now we're going to create smart materials so we can reuse these on the other walls. So, create smart material. 
for the upper walls. And great smart material for the border tiles. And great smart material for the border walls, or the wall tiles, and finally the wooden borders. Oh yes, and I do want to check out Android Lust's um, uh, image as well that he posted on the gallery in the Discord server, so we'll do that right now. Uh, make sure we do a quick save. And let's open up and check these images out. Uh, remember guys and girls, if you haven't joined the Discord server and you're watching the channel, there is a gallery section there where you can show off your work. And we're looking at Android Lust character here at the moment. I'll come back and look at them in more detail once I've posted in the three links. Very nice. I love the character. You've done a great job on the texturing and um, I love the silhouette, the pose as well is really nice. And yeah, modeling beautifully done, texturing beautifully done. Really interesting character model, really interesting pose and silhouette. Really nice work. Beautiful work. Um, Smackberry says you just need to learn how to write proper social letters. Smackberry says brought to you by... Uh, Sniper Girl says yeah, six would be too much, thinking 20 instead. Sniper Girl says uh, yeah, proper social letters pass. I mean social letters really don't need to be proper. Abigail says, as long as I'm not cursing like a soldier, I should be good for social email letters. <laughs> Android Lust says, in that case, just say, how about job? How about that job, though? Android Lust, she says to Android Lust, that would be writing like an ass. <laughs> this is beautifully done, though, Android Lust. Really nice modeling, really lovely texturing. Um, really nicely followed to the concept art as well. You've done a really good job. Uh, I really like the uh, the renders as well. Nice job with the renders too, and the camera angles. Really nice. I love this. This camera angle is really cool. Looking down, um, and the close up is cool as well. Beautiful work. Beautiful, beautiful work. It's something you should be proud to put in your portfolio because she looks amazing. Really nicely done. Beautiful, beautiful work, and thank you for allowing me to show it on stream, Android Lust, as well. Uh, remember, guys, if you've got anything you want me to look at and you want to show it on stream, pop it in the gallery on Discord, and um, I'll show it off at the end of my stream each week. Android Lust says, yeah, the looking down one was a favorite of one of my friends. Yeah, I really like this one, too. I love that camera angle. It looks really cool. It's a really interesting angle for a render, for the model, but it does. It looks really good. Because you got that force shortening going on between the legs and the head because of the angle of the camera. It does, it looks really cool. It shows the model off nicely as well though too. So yeah, this is probably my favourite camera angle. But I like this as well. I think this is very cool. Yeah, but I just like the angle on that one. So yes guys, if you've got any work you want me to look at or show off, uh, pop it in the gallery on the Discord server, the Phil Does 3D Discord. If you're watching this stream back on the premiere stream on Friday next at the end of this week, which will be the last premiere stream on the Friday because uh, Twitch are doing away with them, uh, you can always join the Discord server by clicking the blue graphic below my panels in my stream. Um, but... I think we might leave it there for today, guys and girls. I'm going to go and have another two aspirin and a big glass of water and something to eat and then go to bed because <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, but I do want to thank you all very much for hanging out with me and for watching a hungover film. I do appreciate it. Uh, remember, there will be premiere streams on this Friday and this Saturday, but after that there will be no more premiere streams because Twitch are discontinuing them. There'll be no more events on Twitch as well for any streamers because Twitch are doing away with events. But I will be back live again on Monday next week at 5pm Pacific Time in the United States. 
You're quite welcome, Snoker Girl. Don't forget to save your work. That's a good point. Um, but yes, I'll be back on live again on Monday next week, 5 p.m. Pacific. You guys and girls have a great weekend. Take care, stay happy, healthy, and safe. And I will see you all. Rest, rest in peace, Premiere. <laughs> I'll still be doing using Premiere to do my video edits because I have to upload the stream so that they stay up forever. Snoker Girl says, live dangerously and never save until <laughs> I'll see you all on Monday next week, guys. You take care and have a great weekend.